Let's get into our next topic because the Grizzlies and Warriors are back at it. But this time, it's not Draymond Green versus Dylan Brooks. It's Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson versus Dylan Brooks. Round two, I guess. And uh, to no shocker, uh, to, no, to no one's surprise, the Warriors lost on the road for the 11th straight time. They have now moved, I'm going to bring it up right now, to 7-29 and 29 on the road. They are currently 36 and 36. And it was, it was at the end of the game. We're going to bring it up right now. Clay's just, Clay's just talking. One, two, three, four. That's how many rings he has. And then he says, you don't got one. You don't got a single ring. I got one, two, three, four. Well, I'm glad we're living, uh, you know, retrospectively looking in the past. Uh, but I think we got to realize the Warriors, you're a 500 team talking to a team that is currently... Uh, the three seed in the West. You are currently the seven seed. But good for you. Good for you. Do your talking and a 133 to 119 loss. How about this? You stop counting how many rings you have and you update your resume. That's the great thing about sports and especially, you know, with, uh, with teams and players trying to prove what they are and especially a team coming from literally a NBA Finals championship. What have you done for me lately? Well, 11 straight road losses. And by the way, you are favored, according to Fox Bet, more than 10-point favorites against the Houston Rockets, who are currently the second-worst team in the NBA. Crazy prediction. By the way, I believe that game is tonight at 8 p.m. Crazy prediction time for me, or maybe it's not even a crazy prediction time anymore. I'm going to actually pick the Rockets to win at home. Because the Warriors are a horrible road team. And we've talked about this before on the show. I think that punch by Draymond has done a lot of damage to the core of this team. It is sort of, you know, split sides between veteran players, you know, Curry, Clay, Draymond, and the younger players. Maybe a Kaminga, definitely a Jordan Poole. Moses Moody, maybe. Who knows? Because I, I, I mean, I took a look at this team. They, they played, a, first of all, they lost to the Hawks on the road. Like, that's bad. You lost to the Hawks on the road. The Hawks are not a very good team this year. They're under 500. They are the eight seed, but they, they're not a good team. Trey Young fired their head coach earlier this year, essentially. Got his head coach fired. How about we start actually, you know, like paying attention to what happens? You know, you actually put effort on the road. I think, I think there was a moment, I think it was in this game where, the Warriors are sort of, you know, nonchalantly going back on defense. And the Grizz just said, okay, pass, 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 layup. Steve Kerr had to call timeout. Warriors are unaware of what the hell just happened. They don't shoot very well on the road. They don't play great defense on the road. I've said this before on this show. The Warriors are not a very physical team, and I think that's due to, to the fact that they're a very, very small team. They're starting five for a couple weeks, actually. Was a starting five, it wasn't in this game, but the starting five was Draymond at the five. I believe Draymond's what, six foot eight? Would you even give him that? No, according to ESPN, he's six foot six. Draymond Green was your number five. You were playing Curry, Thompson, DiVincenzo, and Jordan Poole didn't make it, but I, there, there was another very, very short guy. It may have been, I want to say Jermichael Green, but I'm not sure. It may have been Jordan Poole, but I don't think Jordan Poole has been in the starting lineup for a long time. It was a very, very, very small lineup, and it made no sense. I don't know what the Warriors are doing. This, this, road, this, this weird road record of 7-29 blows my mind how that's even possible. This team just came off of a championship. You lost uh, Bielitsa. You lost Otto Porter. You lost Gary Payton. You brought him in, but he's not playing because he's hurt. You, you traded away Wiseman because it just didn't fit how the Warriors' culture worked. It didn't fit how the Warriors were doing on offense or defense. Or, you know, no defense, so not much defense. Jordan Poole has been inconsistent. Jermichael Green has been not great. Anthony Lamb has been okay at best. Moses Moody hasn't been the player you were hoping he would be. Dante DiVincenzo, he was... Can we say adequate at best? I mean, there were some games where 
He had more rebounds than points. That, that, that's a Draymond Green stat. Not a point guard stat. So let, let, let's get into the, the real rivalry here, apparently, now that we're calling it. So Clay Thompson's counted to one, two, three, four championships to zero championships. You don't got one. Dylan Brooks outperformed both Steph Curry and Clay Thompson in last night or on Saturday night's game. Clay Thompson and Steph Curry shot about 30. Clay Thompson shot for 35.3%. Curry shot for 33% from the floor. Clay Thompson shot 22% from three. Curry uh, shot 37.5% from three. Dylan Brooks shot 70% from the floor and 100% from three on four shots. Four or four from three. 18 points compared to 16 and 14 from Curry and Thompson, respectively. This team, the Grizzlies, have knocked you out. They, they knocked you out a couple years ago for, uh, uh, during a play-in. They dominated you. Uh, well, I guess what? You, you tied this season, but that's because your first two games were at home. Now, the last two games, uh, you allowed 130 points each. And lost by a margin. It's a tremendous one. I think it's, what, a 17 on average? Can't do the quick math right now. But the Warriors make no sense to me this year. You just come off of a championship where you're the number one uh, defensive team in the league, according to uh, well, it's a defensive rating, I guess. Let's see. Last year, the Warriors' uh, defensive rating was number one in the league. Number one. You were third in points allowed. And you're going to this season now, being 19th in defensive rating, and get and you're 25th in points allowed. You take a lot of threes. That's what the Warriors have been doing since like 2013, 2014. You're not a physical team. You're undersized. You have no physicality. I, you're, I think you're 30th in free throw attempts. 30th in free throw attempts. You foul an ungodly amount. You turn the ball over an ungodly amount. How many turnovers in Saturday's game? 13 compared to 6. 13 turnovers compared to 6. That turnover differential is horrible. You allowed the Grizzlies without John Murray in the past two games, but in Saturday's game, you allowed the Grizzlies to shoot 47% from the three-point. 54% overall compared to 37 from, from three for you guys and 53%, or 43% from the floor. The Warriors are horrible on the road. Horrible. It could be that they don't sink. They don't have the energy. Could be they're tired from last season. Question is, what what the hell are the Warriors gonna do? Are they are they here's there's the crazy part. The Warriors, and do we I, I believe we still have the picture up right now of the West. The Warriors are still the seventh seed. So right now they're in the play in. And I, I'll bring up their schedule right now. But this is a very, very interesting situation because they, they play the Rockets tonight. I'm giving that as a loss. They're playing Dallas on the road. I'm giving that a loss. And then you play the Nuggets as your second to last game of the year on the road. I'm giving that a loss because I haven't seen anything that says, oh, yeah, we're a great road team. Or, oh, we at least could be, you know, okay on the road. You look terrible on the road. Then you go to Philadelphia with, uh, I, I I had it up here for two seconds, but Embiid's averaging like 36 points in, in the month of March. And who's going who's gonna to help with that physicality? Draymond Green needs to check himself. You know, if he gets riled up in any of these games now and he gets a technical foul, he'll be suspended the subsequent game. And you're, you're going to put a 6-6 Draymond Green against a Joel Embiid? The, the 76ers are going to win that game. Timberwolves. Is Rudy Gobert going to be healthy? Can he be physical? Can he out-physical you? A lot of teams are seemingly going to do that. The Pelicans. I don't know what they're going to do. The Spurs, the Spurs are a horrible team. Horrible team. But you're at home, so I'll give you that win. And then the Thunder, the Thunder could outscore you. Shea is, is unbelievable this year. So really, I'm taking a look at this at the most. Out of the, out of, out of the next, let's see how many here. Two, four, 
six, eight games left. Make sure that's right. Two, four, six, eight games left. At most, you're gonna go three and five. I'd give you the Timberwolves, the Pel- the Timberwolves. I have four and four. Nope, three and five. Because I'm gonna give you the Timberwolves, the Pelicans, and the Spurs. You're, I'm, I'm saying you lose to the Rockets on the road, even though you're ten and a half point favorites. That game is uh, eight, uh, eight p.m. I'm not sure what station it's on, but you don't play well on the road. You're seven and twenty nine. You're up against Dallas, who's a better... I don't, depending on the, how you look at it, the Warriors should be a better team, but you're on the road, so I'm giving it to Dallas. The 76ers, I think Joel Embiid's going to maybe drop 45 in that game. Timberwolves, toss-up. Pelicans, toss-up. Spurs, should win. You're at home. You should dominate that game. At Nuggets, that's a loss. And then you're home against the Thunder. Who could outscore you? Even if I give them the Thunder win. The Thunder, okay? Then you go 4-4 four four in your last eight. So 4-4 four four would get you 